Hi, folks. Joseph Kursky here with you. I'm always talking about in essays and on this channel and elsewhere how useful and relevant geography, spatial thinking, and geotechnologies are in career pathways. Well, here's some concrete evidence to back up those statements of mine. This is from a university, state university, so a major university, and their list of the master's graduates and where they're working now. Here's 17 of them. Of the 17 graduates, 16 or 91% have employment in the field. So this is just one of many things that I could talk about, but just get a sense of the breadth, the depth, the nonprofits, the academics, the private industry, the government agencies represented by these wonderful graduated students now gainfully employed using spatial thinking, geotechnologies, and geography. One student is working for NYC Energex, a renewable energy company in the U.S. and Canada. Another student that's graduated is now working as a PhD candidate in GIS and remote sensing at Oregon State University. Another graduated student is now a GIS analyst for the city of Virginia Beach. Virginia, great place. I've been there. I encourage you to visit as well. Another graduate is now an urban regional planner for Corning, New York. Another graduate is doing field work and creating GIS databases at Public Service Electric and Gas in Pennsylvania. Another student has completed that student's MA in Applied Geography and Urban Planning and returned to Puerto Rico to pursue a position. No further details on that. But another student is working for ESRI, my organization, the largest GIS corporation in the world. Another student is a planner for the town of East Hampton, Long Island, New York City. Long Island, I guess we should say. Another student is an urban transportation planner, Hampton Roads, Virginia. Another graduated student finished the MA in May and will pursue employment this summer. Okay, fair enough. Another student has a full stipend and tuition for a PhD in GIS and remote sensing at the University of Tennessee. Another graduated student has a fully funded, no service four year Temple University PhD fellowship in geography with a study likely to be on energy in Western Europe. I love this. Another student is a city planner in the city of Poughkeepsie, Poughkeepsie, New York. Another student is a GIS specialist for CDM Smith, specialist on FEMA flood risk analysis in Manhattan. Another student finished the MA and has a planning GIS position in Hampton Roads, Virginia. Another student finished the MA in May and was hired as a community planner for a city and regional council. Another student is working as in GIS and census information, ARSC Federal, a general contractor working for the U.S. Census Bureau in Suitland, Maryland. I used to work for the Census Bureau as a geographer. Folks, this, this shows, and there are many other, this is just one university, and this is just a master's program. Imagine, you know, we could have a similar list for bachelors. We could have a similar list for students going through a, a GIS certificate program. We could have a similar list for PhD students. This is just one set of master's graduates at one university so replicated you know hundreds and thousands of times across the world as i've been saying gis spatial thinking and remote sensing ge the geographic way of looking at the world in holistic and interconnected ways that scale matters looking at energy water population change natural hazards habitat ocean and and much more is incredibly relevant to our 21st century world. And this is evidence right here that these students are gainfully employed. And not only that, but they're making a positive impact on their communities, on their regions, on their states, on their countries, and on their world. Thanks for being with me.